paid, but uh, some other countries, they say, okay, guys, you have to pay for it. All right, so now the men out to earn their keep here in the semifinals of the recurve competition in Istanbul. It'll be the seventh seed, Dai Zhang taking on the third seed, Dmitro Rachov of the Ukraine. Rachov is the third seed in the World Cup Finals, and Dai is number seven. Of course, Dai ranked 18th in the world, while Rachov is ranked fourth in the world. So an interesting match, a good match. Rachov very strong this morning in the quarterfinals. Yes, very confident. I saw him uh, on the, sh the warm-up field before, shooting some very nice ends. Let's see what he can do on the windy situation that we have again here. Uh, I can only continue to say, look at the flags in the back. They are really strong in the wind. And uh, let's see, Dai Zhaojing is... Uh, oh. Well, Dai got to the semifinals by virtue of a hard-fought victory over Joe Fanchon of the United States this morning. A pair of bullseyes in the fifth and deciding set, That's uh, yeah. providing the uh, margin of victory for Dai in that match with Joe Fanchon. Interesting, the judge is Jim Larvin. Jim Larvin from Australia. He was the um, field manager of the 2000 Olympics in uh, Sydney, uh, but a very well-known international judge. He's head judge here at the World Cup final. Now, as for Rachov, he fell behind 2-0 in his quarterfinal match with Pedro Vivas Alcala this morning and started shooting nines and tens while Vivas Alcala struggled a bit and was shooting eights, eights. and nines. And you yeah. can't do that when the other archer is shooting nines and tens. It was a festival of eights. <laughs> it was the match that we were looking for, tens, 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 and they didn't come till the end. So first shot now, eight high, eight, one o'clock. We have not seen a, a lot of bullseyes so far here in the semifinals. Nope. Maybe and that will change with the men, we'll see. And believe me, believe me, it's not because these are not good archers. It's really windy conditions. Oh, he starts now with the 10. The 10s he didn't shoot this morning, coming now. Dimitar. Oh, that's an 8 low, 8, 6 o'clock. So maybe he moved the side too much. Strong shot. Too strong. 8 high. So we have a two-point lead after two hours, 18 to 16. Favor of Rachov. And the 10. That puts a little bit of pressure. Uh, Rachov needs a 9 to clinch the first set. Just shot an 8 a moment ago after opening with the 10. And the 9 is enough, 2-0. Two 2-0, zero. Two nil. Rachov leading. Rachov hoping to advance to that gold medal match coming up and they'll the winner of this match obviously will face the winner of the match between Brady Ellison and Gail Prevost of France which we'll see in just a moment but there's a good look at Dai Zhang, member of the silver medal men's team in Ogden at stage three of course the Chinese men also captured a gold medal in team competition at stage two in Turkey and as we mentioned this morning Dai with two top 10 finishes in individual competition on this year's Archery World Cup Tour. And now he's shooting first. Uh, Rachov won the first set, so Dai is shooting his uh, first arrow. They check the equipment after each set, just to make sure. And the bullseye. Dead center. Dead center. It's the right answer after losing the first set. Well, that's back-to-back -back bullseyes. He finished the first set with a 10 and opened the second set with a 10. And Rachov answers with a 9. Yeah. It uh, will be a game decided arrow by arrow. That's important for us to keep up the suspension. Suspension, <laughs> live suspension. <laughs> 15 arrows all together, there's another one. I don't see anything, Carlisle. I stay quiet, but these are two bullseye. It would appear Mr. Dai has something figured out. He either he find the sight. <laughs> <laughs> and a 10, good answer. Keeping it alive, keeping it alive, sorry. So a one point lead for Dai Zhang. And we have the first 30 of the day, 10, 10, 10, perfect score. Nothing to do for Rachov. He can shoot a 10, having a 29, but 
Dai Zhaozhang had a 30, 10, 10, 10. Look, that's, that's the level we want to see. 10, 10, 10 against 10, 10, 9. Highest level of archery now. And there's Three. so little room for error in this sport. You see that right there. That's a, a great set shot by Rachov, who, who scored 29 out of a possible 30 points, and yet he still loses because Dai was perfect. Perfect. If you shoot a perfect score, you can hope to shoot a perfect score as well and tie. Uh, definitely Dai Georgian gave us, and I didn't say it, gave us the 10-10-10. <laughs> uh, we wanted not touching a line. There were two of the three were in the, in the inner <laughs> core <laughs> called X, mm -hmm. the bullseye X, the, you call spider. Mm -hmm. In the middle we have a little X, that's why we call it X. And uh, very confident. He had an eight high. Eight low and then a ten. So he moved the side twice to find the ten. Then in the second end, he just needed to shoot and shoot three tens. Shooting for his fifth consecutive oh ten. Oh. That's uh, it seems. Look, look how determined it is. We don't see the eyes of uh, Rachov covered by his uh, sunglasses. And you see a nine two o'clock. He is. He is hitting the nine, but the nine seems not to be enough today and this afternoon. Not right now. Dai has a ten and a nine, nine now. Nine, so that breaks breaks up the streak. He had going of five consecutive tens. That solid shot, ten nine. Ties up the set. Yeah, great match until now, Carl. So we're tied at nineteen here in the third set. And we are back at the level that we want to see here in archery. 10-9-9, all in the gold. A 10 right here for Rachov will give him the set. Oh. An 8 will lose the set. So it's a 4-2 <laughs> four, four lead for Dai now. So what a turnabout. Rachov took the lead in the match, winning the first set to go up 2 nothing, but Dai Zhang was perfect in the second set and then had 10 9 and 9 in the third set and he grabs a 4-2 lead in the match right now and if he wins this set he's into the gold medal match yes yes he's the he will be the first of uh, our two finalists but dimitar is uh, definitely not happy with the situation and he will do his best now a very determined young man who won a team bronze medal at the 28th olympiad in athens some seven years ago, also finished 20th in individual competition in 2004. A real veteran of the Archery World Cup, been competing on the tour since 2007, but right now in danger of being eliminated. In danger, yes. Just fighting for a bronze medal or a third place, which is not that what he wants. And a nine. Nine for Frachov and uh, Thai shoots. Confident oh. in the 10. Right now, Dai Zhaozhang is hot. And he has no left rights. He is really centered. And if he keeps the hate, he will shoot 10s in a row. Rachov needs a 10 and shoots an 8. 8, 6 o'clock, low. Everything is now on for Dai. If Dai shoots another 10, and, and it does. is a liner, it's a 10. Oh. So the match slipping away from Rachov, but more than slipping away from Rachov, it is Dai taking control of the match. It's a nine. The coach said it's a ten. I heard it, but it's a nine. Sorry, Victor Sidorov, it's a nine. <laughs> You've got a better view, I think. And that's an eight, 28, it's enough. And we have Dai in the final, we have now Two Chinese archers in the gold, oh sorry, in the final of the World Cup, mm -hmm. fighting for the big money. Of course, Cheng Ming qualifying just moments ago here with her big victory to move on to the gold medal match and handshakes all around. Dmitry Rachov of the Ukraine, disappointed, but he'll be back in the bronze medal match. And it will be Dai Zhaozhong moving on to the gold medal match. Now he just has to sit back and wait to see whom he will be competing against. Will it be Brady Ellison of the United States or Gail Provo of France? That match coming up in just a moment. A nice story. I have to tell about those two coaches. Uh, Viktor Sidoruk, he is the men's coach of the Ukrainian team. And we had the Olympic champion in Beijing, was Ukrainian, Viktor Ruban. 
and the ladies coach from China is the guy standing behind Dai. And China won the gold medal in the ladies with uh, Zhang Zhuan Zhuan 2008. So there were two Olympic gold medalist coaches on the line here.